sleep whisper hypnosis something that happened 20 years 
years ago, whatever it is, we're just going to address each individual thought as it occurs. Now, I can't guess what you're thinking. If you were here in the room with me, I would ask you to tell me, but maybe, what you're thinking, and then I could be more detailed in what I would like you to do with that thought. But we don't have that luxury, so I'm just going to ask everybody to just do the same thing. And everybody's going to be having different thoughts. So first of all, ideally, maybe get yourself comfortable lying down on a bed, maybe. And as we've said in the past, you know, your head touches a pillow, your body relaxes, and your mind slows down naturally. This is at the point where you start to notice the thoughts that are going on in your mind, the thoughts that may arise. And you can just, in your mind, say the word freeze. So whatever's happening in that thought, if there's sound, you say freeze and the sound stops. If you've got Images, you know, like a little movie running of something that you previously experienced, or your expectations of something that may happen or may not in the future. You can say freeze and everything stops. And it can't do anything, it just stops. Because your brain is in control. You are in control of that stuff. And you can just let it drop to the floor. Out of sight, out of mind. And then you deal with the next thought. Whatever it is. And it doesn't matter if it's a nice thought. It can be a wonderful thought. This isn't the time for thinking. Do you just say freeze? And whatever you're thinking just stops. Whatever sound that you may have been reliving or rehearing stops. Whatever movement stops. memory, visual, visual mind, then when you say freeze, the colour just disappears out of that. The sound disappears, the colour disappears. It becomes like a drawing, like a drawing by a pencil. And it just drops on the floor. Sight. And then the next thought, whatever it might be, just allow it to arise naturally. You may actually be thinking, what's the, what's the next thought going to be? Freeze. Say freeze. So that that thought pattern stops. just drops away naturally, out of sight, out of mind. And then you deal with the next thought. Just notice what's coming up. thinking, whatever thought was there, whether it was pleasant, whether it was unpleasant, whatever it was, whether it was silly, whether it was just comical, watch it freeze when you say freeze, and then it automatically drops out of sight, out of mind. thought that arises and the more you do this 
next thought can arise, but it's it feels like it's a bit reluctant. Like it, it kind of knows that it's it's not so much it's not wanted because we don't want to be rude to the thoughts because thinking is, as I said, it's an amazing ability that we have. But we're saying that we don't need it at the moment. If you're just eating a, a big meal, you don't need a cheese sandwich handed to you. No, no thank you. Don't need it. And you don't need another cheese sandwich added to the pile. And you don't need another cheese sandwich added. Or a sausage roll put on the plate. It's like, no, I've, I've eaten, I'm fine. This is all good food and I'm, you know, there's a time and there's a place. I will eat this later and I'll enjoy it. But if I ate it now, I wouldn't enjoy it because I'm full up already with food. So the thoughts are now kind of a little bit, I don't maybe nervous about arising because they're not sure whether they're really welcome and you know it's not about not being welcome but not being needed not being required so this is kind of a bit a bit curious the next thought that comes up and you can see it's practically frozen already and you just even give it attention go to say the word freeze and it just drops away out of sight, out of mind it's as if the thoughts are preempting what you're about to say, plus the thoughts waiting in queue queuing up, they can see what's happened to the other thoughts so if you were queuing up go down a water slide and you were queuing up to get on it and you saw that everybody was going down the water slide and then landing on each other you might think ah oh, perhaps I won't do this I don't want someone landing on me like if you're in a restaurant and you're about to order some fish and you, see, you hear next to you on a different table the next table someone saying to the waiter this fish is disgusting this is the worst fish I've ever had in my life chances are you wouldn't order the fish because you learn from that doesn't matter it doesn't mean that you wouldn't have enjoyed it because you might have done because you might love t fish that taste horrible but because we've all got our own tastes so the next thought as it arises just it's slow <laughs> something something really slow about it it just it's like creeping up and just a bit like a, a bit like a puppy you come home to your dog and the puppies you know knock the bin over spread all of the waste from the bin all over the kitchen and then done a poo in, a poo on the carpet and when you come in, the dog's looking at you. It knows that it's been naughty. And it's kind of really nervous and may even be hiding. That's what the thoughts are like now. Because they know starting to learn that these thoughts are part of you and in order for them to be able to be 
able to be uh, created. The thoughts need you to be well. The thoughts need you to be happy. Therefore, the thoughts need you to get decent sleep. Saying freeze. 